Hi guys. Are you there? I don't seem to be getting the sound on my end. There it is. I heard it. All right, so we're going to hope for better video quality this week. If you guys noticed last week, here comes the big kaboom. And heads up for anybody else out there who maybe has different YouTube accounts. <laughs> I personally have three different YouTube accounts simply because I use um, YouTube in three different ways. So one, of course, is for my amazing Scentsy fun and my Scentsy tribe that you're following along here. My second one is my personal YouTube, and uh, that has more family stuff on it. And it's what's connected to like my main personal email. And then I have... Um, a YouTube page for my cooking web series that I do for my column that follows along with my food column. So um, I thought that this was really, really, really cool because, um, well, that part wasn't cool, but I like keeping my YouTube separated because it just helps. But, however, when you are on, if you guys have Gmail or if you're familiar at all with YouTube, if you have multiple accounts and you don't select the right account when you do a live hangout like this, it's going to go to that YouTube. So, I had a couple people who <laughs> followed the links and found me. It was like a big Easter egg hunt. So I apologize for those of you who maybe had to hunt around for me for last week's video. I was trying to find a way to be able to move that video on that YouTube over to this one. I haven't yet found the ability to do that. So I'm going to reach out to my tribe and my network here. If any of you know how I can move a video from one of my YouTube accounts to the other, shoot me an email. Pretty, 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 please. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Otherwise, I can probably maybe put a card up here. Hint, hint to myself. Hint, hint. I'm going to put a card up here and I will. Actually, I don't know if I've ever tried to do that. I haven't tried to link from another YouTube. We're going to give it a shot, though, and see if it works. Um, very cool, right? Very cool. Yeah, it's always fun. It's always fun because I go to work and I do IT stuff now, and so then I come home and I do more IT stuff, and it's just like my entire life revolves around IT. So, Everybody, welcome. My name is Jackie Duran. I want to officially give you a warm welcome to Tuesday Trainings. <laughs> Every single Tuesday, you will find me, hopefully on this channel, coming to you with a Tuesday training topic for working your Sensi business. Whoa, whoa. This is a really great medium for me to be able to help my direct downline with training and hopefully be able to answer some of their questions as they come up, things like that as they're going through the videos. Because if you guys are a new consultant, feel free to search through my YouTube. I've been doing videos for quite a long time, so I've got lots of different subjects on there. Um, anything before last year, and actually probably half of last year, um, I'm just going to put the disclaimer out there now. The video feed isn't that great. So, <laughs> And looking back, I'm like, why did people watch me? I don't think I'm interesting at all. But anyway, I thank you to those of you who do. Um, I'm just opening my email. I just got home from work. Um, got Little Miss in there settled, watching Wallace and Gromit on Netflix. And I'm reading my email. And, you know, this is Tuesday training, right? So let me share with you what the email says. Now, if you guys are active consultants and you guys, um, you may or may not have gotten this too. I don't know if they just sent this to people who are enrolled in Region 2, um, which is for Canada and Mexico. So I'm enrolled in that region because I have um, team members and consultants who are in Canada and then Mexico comes along with that region when you sign up. So to always remember, and those of you who are just starting out, you can enroll for those different regions. 
So if you wanted to sponsor somebody or sell to somebody who lives in Canada or Mexico, um, then all you have to do is just hop onto your workstation. You can go to your account and you can enroll in a new region. Um, I think, I think the only charge, if I recall, it's just a $5 monthly fee. Um, to be able to add that extra region on and so obviously you know that's very business savvy i guess um because it helps me to reach more people so if any of you all are considering doing that or are a part of it um Cincy is announcing the first ever Cincy hispanic advisory board and are introducing the 2016 advisory board members. So this is very cool. Um, it said feedback from advisory board members will be vital over the next year as we prepare for upcoming events, processes, products, and training. The members of the advisory board will be influential in shaping programs that drive growth for all levels across the business. Board members will be rotated annually and their term will run from May 1st through April 30th. Each board member is a top producer, is a director or above, exemplifies Sensi spirit, and remains in good standing with Sensi standards. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six people who were um, representing us for this term. So that's amazing. I'm not recognizing any of the names, but kudos to those six who got um, chosen for that board. I think that's fantastic. Yay! Everybody likes to celebrate, right? All right, so we're going to get back to track here, okay? We're on track today, yeah. I've been off track all day. <laughs> um, I'm going to kind of um, touch on one of the points that my director actually put up today. I think it was today. I'm pretty sure it was today. Um, in our team group page, and it was a very quick um, you know, like a Tip Tuesday kind of thing um, where, and if you guys haven't heard this excuse yet, you'll probably get it, but people will always say, oh, I'm too busy to do Sensi. I can't do Sensi. I can't join. I'm, I'm way too busy. I just got way too much stuff going on. Well, my director, for one, she is super busy as well. She's a working mom um, of three as well, and, you know, she's got a team of 122 people that she's trying to, you know, help guide and and everything else so that's a big big deal um and you know i can totally relate now obviously not to the 122 team members but <laughs> relate to the fact that yes we are all very busy all of us are busy in our own ways um you know i've got three kids one is out of the house so she's not as busy you know she doesn't take a whole lot of effort at this point um but uh so what did you have three kids I've got my full-time J-O-B that I just came from. I have my Sensi team. Yeah, yeah. And then I have, um, I'm a freelance foodie columnist writer. Um, so I've got um, writing commitments, blog commitments that I do. Um, and then the day J-O-B is just crazy insane. And I literally work, um, I'm starting to go in Next week, I'm going to start working at six in the morning, going into the office that early because um, it's summertime. And as much fun as that sounds like it should be, it is totally not fun for my husband and I because little miss, um, there's like a 30 minute window. I work during the day. My husband works at night. So there's going to be many times in the next two and a half months where we are literally meeting in the parking lot of my job, exchanging our child so he can go to work and I can leave work. That's what the wire all boils down to. So um, busy, busy, busy. So it's not an excuse to just be busy, to be able to say, yeah, I'm too busy. I can't do Sensi because trust me, I'm busy. But you have to be able to find ways to trim the fat from your business and really work your business. And you have to make that conscious effort because trust me, people, I've tried it over the years. You cannot just lay down and suddenly in two weeks come back to your business and have it be thriving and running and team members joining and everything else going on at the same time. It doesn't happen. We've got to put in the hustle to get there, right? So even with my busy, crazy, hectic, sometimes, most times, hair pulling days, 
I still find time for my Scentsy business. Now, some days I'm able to be more productive than others when it comes to business. There's some days I can get in there and I can get all my follow-up emails done. I can check all my Facebook messages. I can close all the parties that I've got, you know, that are ready to close up. I can um, do some mail outs to get those ready to be done. You know, there's some days where I'm just cooking, right? And I don't know about you guys, but there's some days when the brain just literally shuts down. You get to that point to where it's above the level of the fill line, okay? <laughs> Those are the nights where I just, I literally have to do my best to just turn my brain off because otherwise I'm going to drive myself insane. So um, to be able to compensate for that, you know, I try and stay on track and on trend with working my business. And that is one reason that I really, really focus on trying to touch my business a little way each and every day. So then that way, if I do lose one night or because it's a night for me when it's in the world of Sensi, because that's when I have the opportunity to actually work my Sensi. Um, if I lose a night during the week due to just overwhelming other priorities or uh, maybe I'm sick or what have you, then the other nights kind of compensate for that. Um, I will say one piece of my puzzle that I'm really working on staying the most cons consistent for myself, this is a personal goal for me, is um, running those daily reports. Now, I first month, I'm going to report every single morning. First thing I would do is I would, you know, get up, I would run my report, I'd throw it into a spreadsheet because I live in the world of accounting during the day, so just what I do. So I threw it into a spreadsheet. I was trending out all of this. I even trended it out into a chart so I could kind of, well, not kind of, but so I could literally track and trend where everybody was and where they were and what their next goals were. And that went really well for the first month. <sighs> but as you guys know as well as I do, Sometimes life just happens. And unfortunately, right now at the day J-O-B, it's super duper crazy. And so I don't have time to check my phone or to even read. You know, you just saw me. I was just reading my emails. I still haven't even read them all. There's 48 sitting here for me to read. So... <laughs> Um, you know, you, you kind of, you get that time when you can, you take it when you can. Um, so being able to organize yourself is truly going to be your saving grace. So for me personally, what I'm really trying to get back to is getting back to running those reports daily because, and I will be frank and honest with you guys, I'm truly only running them once a week right now. And that's just because it's busy right now. <laughs> It's just so busy. So um, I am struggling a little bit to, to keep myself on track, but again, it's on my radar to stay on track, okay? So this week, I really wanted to talk to you guys because if you're anything like me or my director or anybody else who's busy, 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 then you know that you have to still work that business. You still have to be touching that business. And one of the greatest things about Scentsy and probably one of the reasons that I still do Scentsy and that I'm still able to do Scentsy because of all of this time commitment restraint and work and the other jobs and the kids and the things like that is because I have training available for me on my schedule. Okay. So when I go in there to cook dinner in about an hour and a half, I go in there to cook dinner. I will do one of two things. And there are some people on YouTube that I follow. Some you guys probably do too. And so I'll try and catch up on their videos to kind of help me do training. Um, if there's no new videos out or anything like that, then what I'll do is I'll hop into the training center. And if I haven't had a chance to listen to the Tuesday corporate training call from Sensi, then I will listen to that one. It just kind of depends on where I'm at and, and what's going on. And so I'll, when I'm cooking dinner, I've got that going on the tablet. So it's running. Um, and I'm able to just kind of listen, cook, still, you know, take care of the household chores, get the dishes done, everything else like that 
while I'm kind of multitasking in the background. So that's a really great way to be able to utilize the video and conference call trainings that both your peers, like people like me and Katie and Kimberly and Christina and um, um, Edie and everybody else is putting out there for us. Um, it's a great way for me to be able to stay on track with all of that. And then of course, with the Sensi Corporate Trainings. So if you guys are not yet familiar with the Sensi Corporate Training Calls, they happen every single Tuesday because Tuesday's the day for training, hello. So every single Tuesday, I believe it is 11 a.m. Mountain Time, or is it 10? I don't know, because I don't get to listen to them live anymore. <laughs> but you can find this information, go to your website, in the upper, upper, upper toolbar, you're going to see the word that says Training Center. Click on Training Center. And when you click on Training Center, it's going to take you into the Sensi Corporate Training Center. Now, of course, you can search for any topic it is that you're looking for. Maybe right now, you know, we're getting into the summer months. Maybe you're thinking about Facebook parties or fundraisers or, you know, just party, home party ideas in general. You can get on there and search for just specific topics that you're looking for. But you can also, when you first click on Training Center, it will ask you, do you want to look through existing content or do you want to register for an upcoming call? Register for an upcoming call. This is what I recommend that you guys do. Go ahead and do that because what it's going to do is that day, so the next Tuesday or whatever call it is that you're registering for, it will email you, and not only do you get that email reminder, but it will also have the link. So that way, come time, all you have to do is click on that link, and it will automatically take you to the training call when it begins. They do give away prizes. So if for anybody who is logged in and listening, because you log in using your consultant ID, and I believe that they usually give two, Technically, they give three. They usually give one prize to whoever's presenting the topic that week. But then they also will do two random winners. So whoever happens to be logged on live, they will pull two random people. And those two people will win whatever prize package or what have you that they're doing that week. Some weeks when it's centered about around recruiting or sales or things like that, nine times out of ten, it's stuff in the Cincy family store. So... It's a great way to be able to try and win free business supplies. Because who doesn't love business supplies? Oh my gosh, I love business supplies. I get giddy. Um, so you've got that. That's a really great incentive um, to get on there and listen to those calls. But not only that, but they're so informative. And there's so much information on there. And you kind of get to be up to speed with what's happening. Usually they'll talk about the top selling items, things like that. So it's always just fun little nuggets of knowledge to keep, right? Um, every so often I'll kind of tease my customers and, and maybe, you know, make a little fun game out of it to say, okay, who can guess what the best selling scent is right now? And if maybe if I have a bar on hand, I'll send them that bar if they win. You know, you just gotta keep it fun. Look for different ways to have fun with your business. Um, but those trainings are available for you at your disposal. Like I said, it can be noon during the day and you've got a day off or you're, you know, you're working at home and you want to just listen to some trainings. That's a good opportunity to do that. Um, if you're anything like me and the only time that you have to do it is either during cooking dinner or after your children have gone to bed. <laughs> So sometimes it might be late. There are some nights where I am just, you know, it's just been such a mentally exhausting day and I had to come home and I had to clean the house and everything else. And I just kind of literally, literally fall into bed come like 1030 at night. And if that happens on those days, yeah, I will either pull out my phone or I'll pull out the pad and I will at least, again, and sometimes I might fall asleep to it, but I'm at least listening um, to a good portion of it, and then I can always pick up from it later on. Um, so those trainings are a great, great, great resource. Another wonderful training resource, the resource tab on your workstation. So when you log in, go to like your main toolbar, not the upper one where the uh, training center is located, but along your main toolbar, 
Um, or if you're on mobile, you can hit the three little lines, click that, and it'll give you all your categories. It'll line them up for you. And go ahead and click on the resource tab. That resource tab is what holds um, the marketing materials that Cincy puts out. So when we've got a new marketing promotion going on, they give us these PDF images that we can use to post on social media or in emails, things like that. So that's a really great thing to have. Um, and depending on what it is that you're looking for, again, kind of like the center. So if you are looking for fundraising, if you're looking for um, home parties, if you're looking for recruiting, if you're looking for team building, what have you, you can go through resources and you can sort by category there as well. Um, I know at least for my direct online and the people in my extended Sensi family, we've got some amazing resources within Facebook. Um, and so we've got, I have my own page for me and my downline. Then my director has her page for her and everybody who's under her. And then my superstar director has her team page and everybody who's within her group underneath her. So for me personally, if you're a part of my team, we've got three amazing Facebook groups that will always be doing a lot of info. Um, usually in my personal team's downline page, I don't do a whole lot simply because the majority of it is covered by my director and my superstar directors. But if I'm looking to maybe reach out to them personally or just my team or what have you, that's where that information is going to be. Um, at Facebook, so if you're not on my team, of course, um, then get with your sponsor or your director if you um, don't know who your sponsor is um, and ask them, hey, what are the Facebook groups that we have? Um, and they will be able to get you hooked in to where you need to go. Now, obviously, you have to friend that person in order to be able to be added into those groups. So um, just putting it out there. I know some people like to keep their Facebook private, um, and that's perfectly fine. But just know that the um, in order to be added to a group, someone's going to have to friend you somewhere along the way to get you in there. So <laughs> that kind of has to happen. <laughs> um so those are some really great ways to get the training in because as I will tell my team and I've, I've told them probably on numerous occasions, <laughs> I'm busy as much as they are. They're as just as busy as I am. It's not like I'm special, but you know, if I'm not available to get to them and I've always, you know, kind of expressed with them, my, best form of getting hold of me is texting me because again during the day I cannot check Facebook during the day I'm just now getting to my email and it's four o'clock in the afternoon um, so those are gonna be ways to get a hold of me but not in an urgent situation so that's why I always tell them text me text me text me so if that sounds like something like you then feel free to communicate whether that be with your own team with your downline or with your upline. You know, maybe your director's reaching out to you and they're like, man, I've been sending you emails. Have you, you know, you've never responded to any of my emails. Well, for one, maybe, you know, maybe it's an email that you only use for certain things. So maybe you don't check it very often. Um, so to tell people the best way to get a hold of you, because honestly, that's what it boils down to. Because the most frustrating thing is having a need to get a hold of somebody and you, can't right maybe you've messaged them on facebook and it's been three days and you're like are they completely ignoring me if it's me i haven't gotten to those messages yet so <laughs> text me so don't be don't be afraid to you know put that expectation out there not only for your team but for your customers as well i tell my customers the same thing during the week is hectic for me so by all means if you need anything feel free to shoot me a text and that way I'll see it, I'll know it, and I'll be able to get back to you a lot quicker than if you were to send me a message on Facebook or sometimes even email me. Um, but I do, you know, of course, check my email every single day. I kind of have to do that. But, um, you know, I want them to be able to reach me if it's like an urgent need, right? But the other piece of that is that those Facebook groups, that's what makes them so invaluable simply because, again, if it's 2 a.m. 
and I happen to be up for some odd reason, and I really need to know something, whatever it is, it's a, probably a good bet that I can hop on to one of the Facebook groups and find my answer. Or I can post the question and within like 30 minutes, even no matter what time it is, someone will respond back. So <laughs> those are amazing resources, again, at your fingertips, right? They're available for you 24-7. So between YouTube, between Sensi Corporate, the training center, between the Sensi resources tab on your workstation, and then within your team itself, being a part of any Facebook groups, you're going to be able to have as much training as you possibly need. Because let me tell you this, folks, I have been a Sensi consultant since 2012. I've pretty much done something of everything at one point in time. But you guys know, if you follow me along, you know that the majority of my business rotates around long distance, right? The majority of my customers, the majority of my team are not in state to me. So the majority of my business is all done via mail, which the mail is not my friend this week. I've lost two packages, two packages, not fun not fun at all. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and luckily they're just like prizes to my team members. But at the same time, it's like, okay, USPS, I need you to get on the ball here. And I need you to figure out what you're doing with my packages. Um, so being able to have the ability to reach out when we need it, have those resources available is truly something that we all need. We all need. Um, and of course, wrapped up into that training, that's your tribe, right? Remember how we've talked about having an accountability partner? That's another great resource for you. By knowing where your resources are and knowing where to go when you have a question about something, like I said, I've been doing this since 2012. Um, I can tell you, and I will always tell you, I never will have all the answers to add anything or everything. Um, but if I don't have the answer, I at least know where to start looking or if it's something that is completely unattainable or I've never heard of it before, or it's a brand new thing, that's when I take that up and I escalate that up to my director or even my superstar director. There have been times where I've just reached directly up to her um, if it's something bigger going on. Um, I, I, I've done that. So you guys have those same resources at your disposal. So I really want you guys to focus and try and work into your weekly schedule some really great ways that you can get in there and get your training done, even if you have a really wild and crazy busy life like we do, okay? Even if you don't, I want you to challenge yourself and being able to reach out to those resources and know how to navigate through them. Not only is that going to help you and your business, but it is truly going to help when you are building a team and your downline is asking you questions because then you in turn can direct them where they need to go, show them where their resources are because trust me, when your team starts growing, you're not gonna have the ability to catch up with everybody every single day. You're just physically not gonna be able to do that, okay? So you need them to be able to reach out to those resources when they have issues or questions. So no, please try and make sure that they know where their resources are. A good way to be able to do that, I try and put as much as I can into my welcome email when someone joins. So then that way I'm able to also reference back to that. So by being able to put these things maybe into your welcome email when someone joins your team, that's another really great way to be able to put that communication out there and just open up that entire vortex of info that is at our fingertips. Find ways that you can work your training into your business because trust me, again, I've been doing this since 2012. I will never stop trying to learn new things ever because we are constantly changing and evolving not only ourselves but our business and our business is constantly evolving and changing we do things now 
like Facebook parties. When I was joining Sensi, that was like a, oh my gosh, has anybody ever done one of these? And there was like maybe four or five people that were like, yeah, I've done one, but it didn't go great, but this is how I did it. And, but over the years, oh my gosh, Facebook parties have evolved so much. There's an app out now that will actually post it for you. <laughs> I mean, there's so many different things that you guys can do. And so, you know, as we evolve and as we grow into this age of social media, there's going to be lots of new things out there. Periscope, for example. If you guys aren't on Periscope, we've talked about it a little bit in those past training, Tuesday trainings of different social media outlets. And Periscope is just a live streaming video source. And it runs through Twitter, so it's connected to your Twitter account and you're able to do live streaming. So I have seen people who use this directly for motivational speaking, for training, um, just for quick updates, things like that. So that's another really great medium that either you could utilize or you can follow people who do use it for those reasons and be able to get some more information. Fantastic. So we're always growing, we're always expanding, and we're always looking for new ideas. So just because you may have been a consultant for a while doesn't mean that oh, well, I don't need that training center thing anymore. Yes, you do. We all do. And who else out there doesn't need a refresher every so often? I certainly do. I think it's fun to kind of look at something again with a fresh set of eyes that maybe I haven't looked at in a while because I have a new perspective and a new take on it. Why? Because I've had some more experiences in between the first time I saw it and the time that I'm seeing it now. Maybe I've grown as a consultant. Maybe this is something that I saw when I just very first joined and it didn't even make sense. And now I'm going back to it and I'm like, oh, good gravy. There's so much information here. How did I miss this before? I've done that before. <laughs> so it happens and that's great. That's when you're, you just kind of have that light bulb moment and you're like, yeah. Awesome. Now it all makes sense. I connected all the dots. <laughs> so find ways to integrate that training. Keep your business living and growing and proactively moving forward. That's what we want. We want to see that proactive growth moving forward in our business because all that means is we are going to grow. We are going to have bigger paychecks. We are going to begin growing our teams. And before long, we're all going to be walking the stages as directors. I'm super excited about training when it comes to training. Um, for my day, J-O-B, I do a lot of training. So um, a lot of my job encompasses uh, teaching training classes and writing the programs for them and test environments and things like that. So I'm very, very comfortable doing trainings. But if you're not somebody who is, then all you have to do again, know where those resources are and just simply take advantage of those resources. So if you possibly have a team, when I say team, that can be one person. It could be 122 people. It doesn't matter. You have a team, okay? So I don't want you to think that you don't need to be doing training just because you have one. You're like, oh, I just have one person. No, you still want to get into the habit because what you want to be able to do is scale your training and start setting up in line because you're going to continue to add on new people to your team, and they in turn are going to add people onto their team. So you want to kind of create this learning environment because again, we all truly are continuously learning as we work through our Sensi businesses. Um, by being able to set those systems in place and making them scalable, then you're able to, again, circle back to those ideas at any time and nobody's missing a beat anywhere. It's fantastic. <sighs> so have I talked to you enough about training? Are you ready to jump in and get some training done? Yes, you are. Give me some thumbs up. Let me know. And then I want you to comment down below. What are some of your favorite ways to get your training in? Are you like me? Are you a... I'm going to cook while I listen to some training person or are you also like me and you're like, yep, it's been a really long day. I'm going to lay down and watch a video before I go to bed. <laughs> Either way. And maybe you've got better ideas that totally trump mine. I would love to hear them. So let's shout it out. Let me know. Put it down there in the comments. Let's hear from you. What are your favorite ways to get that training in? And maybe it's something we haven't even talked about. Maybe you are somebody out there who has a super 
awesome way to get that training in. And I have no idea what it is. Why? Because I'm still learning every single day. I'm always learning. I'm always looking for new ways, especially when it comes to social media. You guys know I love my social media. Yes, I do. I think it's a fantastic way for us to grow and learn, um, not only as just individuals, but as Cincy business owners, because it's awesome. So training is the letter of the week or the word of the week letter might as well be a letter <laughs> my middle name might as well just be trainer um but like i said i personally love it i enjoy what i do so i hope that you guys even if you're not like that and you just really despise training maybe that's okay but challenge yourself to at least maybe listen to one training whether that be a cincy corporate whether it be somebody's youtube um and hey, if you're watching my YouTube, also, uh, <laughs> or maybe that's the Facebook groups within your own team. So just look for those different ways to challenge yourself and kind of branch out. And maybe it's time, you know, I've talked about hitting that reboot button every so often. So it might be time to just hit that reboot button and go, you know what, what I've been doing isn't working. So let me try a new idea. I'm going to pick this one, pick it and run with it. So I will see you all next Tuesday. I'm going to work some magic, hopefully, and get that video on my other web or on my other YouTube transferred to this one. If not, I'll post a link. Um, but until then, enjoy the rest of your week. We're getting ready to go into Memorial Day. So if I don't talk to you before, I hope you all have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend if you're here in the U.S. anyway. We celebrate Memorial Day. That's coming Monday. Um, it's going to be awesome. I get the day off from the JLB. Woo woo. It makes me happy. It makes me so happy. Have a great one. Thank you for following and listening along. Thank you to all those live viewers. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And until next time, peace, love, happiness. Bye.